get your house in order oh do it today get your house in order oh do it right away <laughs> why cause jesus is coming no man knows where or when so get your house in order for he's coming back again amen how are y'all doing today as you can see our prayer service today is on first corinthians chapter 16 okay i i want to uh begin as we do with the lord's prayer so go ahead on and close your eyes and bow your head. It's taken from Matthew chapter 6. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. How y'all feeling today? I hope you're feeling good. As you know, we are in the holiday season. So we want to keep our families lifted in prayer as well as ourselves. Be very careful to take care of yourself. Do your exercises, drink your water, and get your rest, okay? Amen. The battle is not ours, it's the Lord's, but God has some uh, requirements that we need to do to continue to take care of ourselves, okay? All right. First Chronicles chapter 16, Ministering Before the Ark. Uh, if you read this this. Uh, scripture before you know this is not the uh, ark which Noah built but it is the ark of the covenant all right let us begin Holy Spirit be with us um, so they brought the ark of God and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it and they presented burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before God after David had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins to each Israelite man and woman. He appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord to extol, thank, and praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief, and next to him in rank were Zechariah and Jazel, uh, Shemira, Shemira Moth, Jehel, Matitala, Eliab, Beniah, Obed Edom, and Jael. They were to play the lyres and harps. Asaph was to sound the cymbals. And Beniah and Jehaziel, the priests, were to blow the trumpets regularly before the Ark of the Covenant of God. The, that day David first appointed Asaph and his associates to give praise to the Lord in this manner. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. You, his people, the descendants of Israel, his chosen one, ones the children of Jacob he is the Lord our God his judgments are in all the earth he remembers his covenant forever the promise he made for a thousand generations the covenant he made with Abraham the oath he swore to Isaac 
He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. When you were but few in number, few indeed, and strangers in it, they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no one to oppress them. For their sake he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be, a fe- he is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Amen, Lord. According to your word in First Chronicles chapter 16, I lift up the black females of the United States of America here in North America, Lord. And I ascribe to you glory and strength according to your word. Thank you for your covenant. Thank you that you make sure that we are unoppressed and unharmed by the nation. Amen. Thank you that we are not oppressed. Thank you that we are protected. Thank you that we are cared for and loved and favored by you. Thank you that you have chosen us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 30 goes on to say, oh, 29, let's do that. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Amen, Lord. We ascribe to you the glory due your name. For there is no God like you. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Amen. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Amen, Father. Come and judge the, judge the earth. Amen. Amen. Elohim. El Shaddai. Oh, Emmanuel with us. Come and and judge. Come and judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. I'm going to say that again. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, save us, God our Savior. Gather us and deliver us from the nations. That we may give thanks to your holy name. Glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. And we, in this day and time, and in this moment, will also say, Amen, and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. David left Asaph and his associates before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to minister there regularly according to each day's requirements. He also left Obed-Edom and his 68 associates to minister with them. Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, and also Hosa were gatekeepers. David left Zadok the priest and his fellow priests before the tabernacle of the Lord at the high place of Gibeon to present burnt offerings to the Lord on the altar 
a burnt offering regularly morning and evening in accordance with everything written in the law of the Lord, which he had given Israel. With them were Heman and Jeduthun and the rest of those chosen and designated by name to give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. Heman and Jeduthun were responsible for the sounding of the trumpets and cymbals and for the playing of the other instruments for sacred song. The son, sons of Jeduthun were stationed at the gate. Then all the people left, each for their own home, and David returned home to bless his family. Amen. <laughs> How you like that? That's how it was done. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for your word this day. Thank you for reminding us that in our worship to you, in our honor of you, it's okay for us to play instruments. It's okay. It's okay for us to give our offerings to you. It's okay for us to know that you are the creator of the heavens. Lord, Thank you for reminding us this day that we are your chosen ones. We are your anointed ones that you protect, that you protect from oppressors, that you protect us from white supremacy, that you give us favor among the nations, that you guide us and you help us. Lord, we praise your name. We thank you for everything that you have done for us and are doing for us. We thank you for this moment and we thank you for this day. Lord, we ask that you, we humbly ask that you remember the black females of North America. Lord, those who are called by your name, who are your anointed ones, we ask that you remind them in this moment. Amen. That you let them know that it's not about money. It's not about fortune, fame. None of the things of this world. But it's about the fruits of your Holy Spirit. As outlined in Galatians chapter 5, Lord. We thank you this moment. We thank you this day. Lord, you know what is happening in the hearts of every single black female in North America. You know what it is that they need to do. What it is that you have called them to do. And what it is that you have purposed for them. And we know that in your word... You said that you want us to have an abundant life. Amen. That you wanted us to have, to live, and to serve you, to be thankful to you, to learn about you, to accomplish your purpose for our life. Lord, it's so hard for us to keep focus and know what it is that you've called us to do. We ask that you make the way plain. We ask that you continue to not allow anyone, anyone, person, place, or thing to cause harm to us, your anointed ones. Give us rest. Give us peace. Wrap us in your Holy Spirit, Lord. Keep our hands from causing harm. Keep our thoughts from causing harm. Help us to keep our minds stayed on you and what it is that you would have us to do in the face of hatred and evil. Help us to respond by means of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Protect our feelings, protect our minds, our hearts, our bodies. And our spirits, Lord, as you have always done. We ask that you continue to remember us and to help us. Show us what it is that we need to do and help us to be able to accomplish what is your will for our lives. 
Lord, we know that there are many who do not believe that our love for you is real, that our concern for your will in this world is real. Lord, help us to step back. Help us to step back and let you move forward. Amen. Help us to step back and let you move forward. We lift up those who love us, those who love you. And we also lift up those who hate us and who hate you. Lord, let your will be done. For we know that you sit high and look low. And we're grateful for that today. Amen. Amen. Very grateful for that. Amen. Thank you, Lord, through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. We just want to thank you. You've been so good. You've been so good. Oh, Lord, you've been so good. And I just want, we just want we thank you that we can thank you Lord <laughs> amen amen I hope today's uh, prayer service has blessed you today I want to thank you for watching to this moment. If you had, please like this video, share this video, especially to all of the black females that you know in North America. Listen, I started this prayer service because of my time working with the um, Archdiocese of Houston Galveston. And I was working in the Office of African American Ministries as a secretary for Charlotte T. Davis. And she did a service for um, um, a year prayer for the African American male, right? And a lot of things happened during those prayer services. And... Um, I'm not sure how she wrapped it up, but she also had the Arusu retreat, which was a retreat for um, newlyweds, newly married people. And also there was another retreat for those at their um, eighth year anniversary and um another retreat for those who had been married for 20 years and more so that office doesn't even exist anymore you know everything is geared towards hispanic ministries um and i did find another prayer service the year of prayer for uh I think it was African-American males. It was in a place like Detroit or something like that. And I got in touch with them, but they never responded back to me. And I think it's because um, I think that it was because they, they maybe thought that there was something um, that I was going to say about it, you know, to attack it which I wasn't I really wanted to be a part of it you know but you know God said it's okay for me to do this and so I'm doing this and um, 
I hope that you enjoy it. Please comment below. Please like this video. Share this video. And please pray. Please pray. Okay. Uh, if you haven't gotten a chance to check out the first and second books of Chronicles, you should. It's a lot of information in there that helps you to be able to discern when you are hearing something that is not of God. Even as I read the scripture, I recall many, many, many pastors saying that um, you shouldn't have any music. Music is a big situation in the church, you know, especially for black people. <clears throat> um, many choirs are struggling. Many choirs are struggling right now. And it's because people don't want to sing for the church. They want to sing for uh, the, this music industry. And that's okay. That's okay because if that's what uh, God has placed in their hearts, that's what God has placed in their hearts. We are here to seek the face of God. To know what it is that we're supposed to do. Because I believe, and this is just me myself, I did too much. <laughs> Amen. I have run around, honey, like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to do this and trying to do that. When it's not required for me to do. We did the year of prayer for the African-American male. That was in the 90s. I want you to hear me. Hear me good. That was in the 90s. I was a part of that. I not only helped, to, helped Charlotte to make that happen. But I did the press releases and I attended every prayer service. And 20 years later, my African-American male was killed. Now, do I think that uh, that by me participating in that prayer service helped my sons? Absolutely. But when he became a man, he was no longer under my jurisdiction. That the year of accountability, our children must choose. Choose ye this day. And I remember the name of a God on my son's lips. And it wasn't Yahweh. <laughs> it was not Yahweh. It was not um, Jesus. It wasn't Yeshua. So, on the day that he transitioned his God did not save his life he was 22 years old and let me tell you from the age of 21 even before then he wanted to make his own choice he wanted to make his own choice and he could not see past anything that Right, wrong, or indifferent, he was going to go his own way. Now, that's all I can say about that. But it is interesting for me, eight years since his transition, and um, Just looking back over my journey, which is something I'm not going to be doing a great deal of uh, any longer. I am seizing the moment and I encourage you to do the same. If you notice in our Lord's Prayer, it says, give us this day. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, 
just like in the food of the angels, the manna. Don't store it. Don't pack nothing for tomorrow. Every day you get the manna fresh and new. Right? So we are going to bask in the glow of this day and praise the Lord, thanking him for this moment, this day, this time. And we are just going to see (laughs) what God is going to do. Amen. Do you receive that today? Do you receive it today? I receive today what the Lord has set for me. I'm just going to wait and see what it's going to be. Amen. And I pray that anything that Satan has for me or some other human or manipulations or anything like that, anyone trying to cause me harm, that they are bound. Bound. I plead the blood of Jesus over this day for you and for me. (laughs) For us black women here in North America, honey. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. God has brought us a mighty long way. And as Mary Mary sang, God didn't bring us all this way to leave us from the hymnal, right? God has brought us a mighty long way. He kept us through the night safe for us to wake up this morning to glorify him. Hallelujah. And we are going forth wrapped in the spirit of God in his love, knowing that he will keep our oppressors from oppressing us. He will protect us from those who are trying to harm us. He will give us grace and favor and prosper everything that we do. Because he loves us and because He lo- we love him and because we love one another, we shall love to each other. Amen. Amen. And anyone, anyone who has made their choice in opposition (sighs) we have to respect their choice and we have to let them go on the path that they need to go on. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, Fred. Fred idolizes certain people and I just What can I say? I just watched him and he has great stories and he's a good person and he works really hard and but his idol is humans. It is what it is. I cannot uh, try to change. This is what he this is the path that he's on. And this is the path that God has him on. Elohim knows what what he's doing. The path that my sons are on, Elohim knows. The path that my mother is on, Elohim knows. The path that my brothers are on, Elohim knows. My job is for me to continue on my path. Amen. Amen. Let that be our prayer today. Lord, guide our steps. Mm-mm-mm. Through the blood of Jesus. Amen. <sighs> Let's say, Guide my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father, I pray. Order. That's it. Order my steps in your word. <laughs> Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Yes. Lead me, guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father, I pray. (laughs) Please order my steps in your word. If you order my steps, Lord, I'll do my blessed best. The world is ever changing. But you are still the same. If you order my steps, 
I'll praise your name. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, honey. I need to open up my Spotify, honey, play that song. Yes, honey. Uh, I I feel joy this morning. I hope y'all feel joy this morning as well. God bless you. All right. So the Lord, the Lord bless you <laughs> and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. God bless you. I will talk to you guys next time.